going on people it is your boy daddy mac and welcome back to another pokemon sword and shield wi-fi battle we are against levi who is bringing the red uh, the red Galecki. and he's bringing the yoshifu and the toxicity so this team is going to be no joke i can't necessarily play around with this team um who he's who he is going to start with i got a feeling it's going to be the red Galecki, given that's a really fast pokemon so because of that we're going to go ahead and start jogazi given that we resist all stab attacks but that thing is going to hit like a truck so I'm really excited to see this Regilecki in action. Um, I have no words. <laughs> I have no words. Look at this. We have some really cool Lee cards. I like your Lee card, Levi. I like it a lot. Okay. I'm hoping that he starts with the your eyepiece. It looks dope. It looks highly dope. All right. Spirit Tomb comes out. That's a really unique lead. I have not seen a, a Spirit Tomb lead since Cynthia. Okay. I feel really comfortable going for the Dragon Pulse and just spamming Dragon Pulse all across the board. So that's what we're going to do here. It's probably going to outspeed me, unfortunately. I outspeed it, and I have no speed investment on this thing, so that's huge. Should be able to knock it out, and it does. I'm mostly afraid of the Regilecki, given that we haven't been against one, and the Urshifu, because Urshifu is, even though I haven't seen one in a long time, it's still a really, really strong Pokemon. All right, here comes the big boy Tox. I'm gonna hit it with the Dragon Pulse regardless. I should be able to take an attack from this thing, at least I hope, given that I have bulkier special defense than, than physical. Unless this thing surprises me and hits me with a physical attack, then I'm gonna cry a little bit. Withdraw Toxtricity. He's gonna switch into something. Gengar, that's... <laughs> bring bring in the Gengar, that's fine. It's gonna take a Dragon Pulse to the face. Come on, Dragalji. Knock this thing out for me. There's no reason to run Drago, Dra um, Draco Meteor on this thing. Was that the cursed body that came into effect? I didn't read it. I hope not. I'm gonna have to check, unfortunately. But, um, oh, he has the Regilecki shirt um, or sweater jacket. That is awesome. You should just bring in the Regilecki. Just bring it in. Just bring it in. I wonder what he was trying to bring out of my Dragology. Because he went into Toxtricity, maybe he messed up. I would have just tried to play it at that point. Here comes the Incineroar. S'mores comes into play. Probably has the Intimidate. Do I have... Am I Curse Bodied? Yes. Yes, I am. I'm not going to stay in against this thing. I'm not going to stay in. I'm going to go Pangoro right off the bat. Given that we're both Dark... Well, he's a Fire Dark. I'm a Fighting Dark. I should be able to take a Darkest Lariat from this thing. Yep. There you go. I resisted times four, my boy. Not doing anything to me. Not at all. Um, at this point, I kind of want an Earthquake. Oh, I don't got to worry about the Spirit Tomb or Gengar, so I can honestly just go Drain Punch and blow something back. Drain Punch. I should be able to knock this thing out. My boys. Pangoro is a really underrated Pokemon. You guys should try him out one of these days. Very underrated. As long as you're within the right situation, you should be fine. I'm assuming that Incineroar was 252 HP, 252 attack, given that I outsped it. Or Shifu comes out next. This is the single... This is Water Style. Water Style or Shifu. I don't think I want to stay in against this thing. I don't think I want to stay in. I don't want to set up the electric terrain because of these two Pokemon, unfortunately. I'm going to go ahead and just drain punch here. If I get blown back, I get blown back. He's Dynamaxing. I'm somehow okay with that. As long as it's not ready to the dark type attack because I'm going to go into Corsola next. And I'm going to try to Will-O-Wisp this thing. G-Max or Shifu. Look how beautiful this Pokemon looks. We have not seen one. Well, we, we've seen one in a... We, we've seen one before, but... I have not seen the Gigantamax or Shifu since I've used it after the Isle of Armor release. Max Knuckle. Nox. I'm living that somehow. Okay. All right. I kind of want to switch next just because I don't want to go for another Max Knuckle. So I want to go into Corsola. And I'm actually going to predict another Max Knuckle. So I'm going to go into Corsola here. And then um, we'll go back into Pangora to psych it off. And that's going to waste the Dynamax. All right, here comes the Corsola. Hit me with a... There you go. The reeds, my boys. 
All right, I'm gonna go back into her uh, Pangoro. I almost said her Shifu. I don't got her Shifu. I have an her Shifu, but I, I just not on this team. Back into Pangoro. You're gonna hit me with the rapid flow, just as I expected for you to do it. And that's gonna knock us out. No way we're getting protected. No way. Okay, next we're gonna go into Corsola and then hit this thing with the Will O Wisp, and we should be perfectly okay. This team is actually pretty good. This team is really good. The only thing I'm afraid of is a Blaziken. I'm highly afraid of uh, somebody bringing a Blaziken and then sweeping my team. That's what I'm highly afraid of. All right. I'm going to Will Wisp here because I got nothing to lose against the Sushifu, especially. Maybe I should have Strength Sap now that I think about it. Withdrawals. Okay. So I'm actually okay. It comes to the Toxtricity. Which I'm a little scared of. Mostly because of the... Um, mostly because of the Boom Burst. I know Boom Burst Toxicity is really, really scary. That's why I'm a little bit afraid of it. Um, I really don't have a switch in for it. I want a Strength Sap, but at the same time I just want a Nightshade. I'm gonna Nightshade here. I like his eyepiece. A lot. Throat chop. This is a physical toxicity. Wow. Okay. That's uh, mind blowing. For sure. Okay, so I'm going to lower this thing's attack even more. And I kind of want to. Uh, maybe I should just go into a curse right now. And then hit it with the strength sap. I think that's what we're going to do. Corsola looks so sad. That's kind of. That makes me sad. That makes me sad. What was this guy's name? Levi. Levi. His name is Levi. Levi looking pretty fresh. Not gonna lie. I kind of wanted one of those eyepieces to myself. That is really cool. That is really cool. Except that I'm trying to replicate my characters who actually look like me. Boom. Not gonna do anything. So now that we're gonna go for the curse, I'm actually really comfortable going for the strength after this next turn. This thing's gonna lose some HP. And, oh, that's a kind of a lot, unfortunately. Black Sledge isn't going to matter because we got the burn and we got the curse. Bop, bop, bop. Just put a nail on its head. I wonder what that animation signifies. That's kind of weird. Okay, Strength Sap is next. I think we got this, this uh, battle under the bag. Throat Chop comes in next. Not going to do anything unless it crits. Super effective, but it doesn't do anything. I think we can take the Urshifu down with the Pinsir, and I think Pinsir is going to be our win con. Pinsir is our win con at this point. Look at all the HP we just recovered. Again, not going to matter. And I'm going to go for a Strength Sap one more time after this turn because I want my Corsola nice and healthy for this Urshifu. Boom. Okay. One more time, we're going to go into the Strength Sap. More than likely, he's going to try to hit me with another Throat Chop. And go from there. And go from there. I just hope he doesn't Rage Quit. I really hope he doesn't Rage Quit. Okay. I'm nervous. Nervous, nervous. Because I, I, got, off of, uh, I got off of a losing streak not too long ago. I'm not trying to go back into the losing mode. So... We've had a victory. We've had a couple back-to-back -back victories, if I recall. Um, I, have, I feel like I haven't played Pokemon in a while. <laughs> so, I don't know. Before this team, we did the Isle of the Crown Tundra. And before that, what team were we using? Because I know the Copper Jaw team straight up went 0-3. But what team did we use after that that actually excelled a little bit? And by a little bit, I mean, I think I went 2-1 or or one and two or something like that this team so far is off to a really good start we're one zero looking to get into that two zero right after this battle all right now i want to willow wisp here because this or shifu obviously really scary when it's at um at a really high attack or just in general because look at this this is gonna do a lot of damage i bet watch it not do anything <laughs> this is why everybody hates corsola this is why everybody hates Corsola. And I don't blame this. I don't blame Cursed Body. So now this Urshifu can't really do much to me. This is why I kind of run bulk up on my Urshifu. 
But at this point, I can't do anything to my Corsola, given that it's burned. Next, I'm going to Strength Sap to keep me light, nice and healthy. Or should I just switch and get try to get a sweep going? I think that's what I'm going to do. Should we give the sweep to Pinsir uh, or Drogalge? I think we're going to go Drogalge. Drogalge for MVP. Hashtag MVP uh, Drogalge. Or Drogalge. I like calling it Drogalge. The G is silent. Or the the E. Why? The, the G is silent? That's absolutely false. All right. Corsola comes back. Here comes the Drogalge. I think it's Drogalge. Like Gage. No, because you actually really pronounce the age, so Dragalge? Dragalge? I don't know. I have no clue. I'm just going to go ahead and hit the Dragon Pulse, and we're going to call it a victory, because the Regilecki is going to come out next. Aerial Ace? Interesting. Interesting. Probably for the Max Airstream to get its speed up. That would make more sense, because I know Falling's, I think he said he runs Air Slash, um, not Air Slash, um, Aerial Ace because of the Airstream. Understandable. Really understandable. Here comes the Regilecki. We should. Wow, this thing is. Uh, it looks smaller than. Um, it looks smaller than I imagined. For sure. But it's, explosion? That's a victory, folks. It didn't even knock us out. <laughs> That's the game. Levi, that was a great battle. Thank you for that. <laughs> you just boomed. You just tried to boom. What was the Pokemon that got knocked out? Who got knocked out? Pangoro. Pangoro got knocked out. That's going to be it for today's video. Make sure you guys leave a like if you guys enjoyed this Wi-Fi battle. Comment down below using hashtag MVP to vote for your most valuable Pokemon of this video. And subscribe to my channel for more Pokemon Sword and Shield videos. It's your boy Daddy Max signing off. I will see you guys next time. I'm <laughs> sorry.